Not to mention the fact that um, admission to this festival, as it is every year, is absolutely free. We're so fortunate to have an organization like the Maui Arts and Cultural Center right here to provide wonderful entertainment and events and activities for us. We also have a lot of other people to thank for this. Uh, presented by the MAC, the Kihoalu Festival is also supported by the Hawaii Tourism Authority, the Maui Visitors and Convention Bureau, Hawaii News Now, Kahoku uh, Productions, the Kihoalu Foundation, the Maui News, KPOA Radio, and the County of Maui. And while we're talking about HTA, the Hawaii Tourism Authority, I have one favor to ask you, because you folks got in for free, right? And you're going to enjoy hours and hours of wonderful Kihoalu music. So we just have a tiny favor to ask you. Whether you are a resident or a visitor, wherever you happen to be visiting from, the Hawaii Tourism Authority would love for you to complete a very short survey. It will only take one minute, I promise. The survey table is over there by the gallery. And every time you fill out, well, we only want you to fill it out once. But everybody who fills out a survey will be eligible to win $100 worth of CDs, presumably from the artist you'll be seeing today, or a brand new ukulele. And I think it's a mele ukulele, so. So there you go. It's only going to take a minute of your time. You can still hear the music when you go over there to the gallery and complete the survey. We've got some wonderful food vendors with us today. Check out Taste of Aloha 808, Area 51, Ono Pono Acai Bowls, Shaka Shave Ice, and Cane Juice, and of course, Sumo Dogs. Got to have Sumo Dogs when you have a festival at the Mac. Now, let's see. I think I've covered most of the housekeeping. Oh, we are streaming this on the Mac website, on Facebook Live, and on the Mac's YouTube channel, and I believe on Milton, L Milton Lau's channel as well. So everybody be on their best behavior, yeah? Because all over the world, they're going to be watching you and listening to these incredible musicians. I told you who our sponsors are. I told you about the food. You folks already know we have vendors in the shade all along the eaves. Make sure you take the time to visit each one of those tables. And again, please make sure you fill out the one-minute festival survey. And while you're over there, you probably want a collector's T-shirt. That's right. We've got this year's festival T-shirts made especially for you. People have been de collecting these shirts for four decades, so you don't want to miss out on this one, 2022, because it is the return, the post-pandemic return of the Kihoalu Festival here in the beautiful a Amphitheater at the Maui Arts and Cultural Center. I think I've spoken for five minutes. We're trying to keep it exactly on time. I know. <laughs> okay. Let me check my, and oh, I forgot the lay. I have extra duty today, oh. <laughs> and that's good because we are one minute away from one o'clock. So we're so happy to have this gentleman here with us, and I know he's delighted to be here on Maui, where he does have ohana. Yes, I do. 
but he hails from the windward side of Oahu, Kaneohe to be exact. This gentleman is a dedicated musician and addicted to Hawaiian music. Dwight Kanai has performed on Hawaii stages for over three decades with such luminaries as Peter Moon, Del Beasley, David Kahiapo, and more. He appears on several Slacky guitar compilation albums, but he also has his own CD, Haiku. Is it available here Not at the merch table? Not available here, no. I've Aww. Sorry. Dwight, <laughs> how can they get it? Um, you know, the thing was recorded so long ago, it's pretty much obsolete now. It's a collector's item. You can't, it's hard to find, you know. You gotta try go eBay or uh, Amazon and or find one used copy. Or just record another CD so well, they can get you back go. in the market. That would be awesome. Yeah. It is exactly one o'clock. I don't want to take up any more of your set because we got so many musicians. Everyone doing about fifteen minutes. Yeah. Yes. I okay. Am. So, ladies and gentlemen, please give a nice warm Maui welcome to Dwight Kanae. Thank you, Kathy. Aloha Maui. Oh, so nice to be back.
nice to be back on this island. Instead of live streaming from Oahu saying that it's the Maui concert, you know, just didn't work for me. Man. Good to be here. Hey, Paul Tokihoga from the island of Kauai. Uh, I opened up with the, our, um, our national anthem here. Hawaii Honoring our our Ali'i. And here's another song. canoe paddle that splintered and made his escape not knowing that this raider was on Ali or somebody of the ruling class. Well, this is the, uh, the defender was brought to trial 12 years after the incident and instead of punishment he was given lands and set free. The king realized his mistake and issued this law. like the rights of men, great and humble. See to it that our women and our children and our elderly get to lay on the side of the road without fear of harm. And if you disobey this law, you die. That's the law of the splintered path. Guaranteeing the safety travelers who wants to lay on the side of the road, rest, sleep, whatever, without fear of harm. Like the king said, you break this law and we put you to death, guaranteeing the safety of everybody. for a real treat today. A lot of great musicians, a lot of performers. Uh, so nice to be back here on the island of Maui, but you know, when we, when we got out of the airport, <laughs> first thing to greet us was this line along the sidewalk outside on the roadway. And I looked at the line and I, I asked um, Ledward Collins' wife, Sharon, is that the TSA line? She goes, yes, that is the line. I went, my God, what happened in Maui? <laughs> the TSA got to get something uh, going on this. Thing. Now I got to go back three hours ahead of time. I'm glad I'm first.
do a song from the island of Maui. Take you to the north shore of this side. Please God, Kianai. shores of Maui Isle, there's a place called Kianai, where I stayed for a while, in that sweet Hawaiian style, in the quietness, the peacefulness of Kianai. Okay, I got the signal. I can do one more. Mahalo, you guys, for coming out and supporting Hawaiian music. I sent this song out to my Kanai Ohana on the island of Maui. To all you guys, so, uh, this is my grandma's favorite song. Yeah. 
My name is Dwight Kanai. Stay safe, peace, and love, you guys. Aloha ke kahi ike kahi. Love one another. Out. Plenty more. Plenty more guys going to come. Plenty more guys. I'm going to get out of the way so I can go stand in the TSA line. <laughs> Dwight Kanai, everyone. Give him another round of applause. Mahalo, Dwight. Yeah, like he said, we got plenty more guys, and 15 minutes goes by so quickly. I'm so sorry, but we just, we just got to keep it rolling. And most of these musicians who have come from off-island do need to get back to the airport in plenty of time to make it through. I hear um, TSA is not just short-staffed, but the machine is broken, so I hope you guys are ready for the body cavity search individually. I know, right? But Okay, don't forget now, we have festival t-shirts. These are collector's items. Every year there's a new one. Some people have four decades worth of these shirts. All right, you got one. Beautiful, hold it up so everybody can see. Gorgeous. It's a really hot day today, so please people, stay hydrated. Go eat plenty shave ice. We got Chaka shave ice here. We got Sumo Dogs Maui. Oh, a lot of onolicious food for you. Don't forget to take the survey. It only takes a minute. It's very simple. We do this for the Hawaii Tourism Authority, who are big supporters of the Kihoalu Festival. And an entry gets you, or a survey gets you an entry into the grand prize drawing, you can choose $100 worth of really good CDs, if you still got a CD player, or a brand new mele, ukulele. It'll be your choice, so awesome. Let's say mahalo to our crew here at the Maui Arts and Cultural Center. So many people working backstage, side stage, to give this, um, to keep this flow going. So mahalo to the staff and the volunteers here at the Maui Arts and Cultural Center. Our next performer, I'm so excited to see him. Kamuela Kahoano is a singer, songwriter, music producer from Honolulu. You might recognize the family name. His whole uh, ohana is entertainment-oriented. Kamuela's music has elements of acoustic, folk, indie, and alternative, but of course, with the Hawaiian influence. He is an accomplished left-handed player of both ukulele and guitar. In fact, he is a multi-instrumentalist. He's also very humble. He told me, um, no need mention all of the accolades he has, but I will tell you, this guy is a double hoku winner. Ooh, we're so lucky to have him here. Please give Maui aloha. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I keep forgetting. This is the most important part of my job. All right, now we can give big Maui welcome to Kamuela Kahoano. <laughs> Thank you. 
P check, have it up. What's up, Maui? Hello, Hanui. Hope everybody's having a good day. It's so nice to be out here at the Mac again. Uh, huge thank yous to you know everyone involved, including yourselves. Um, obviously, that'd be a lot of names, and <laughs> I'm gonna sing instead. Uh, this next song takes us over. Oh, I gotta retune. Okay, all right. But no worries. I'm a professional. We'll see how long it takes me. Hold on. <laughs> all six strings got a turn on this one. All right, all right, all right, all right. So a musician walks into a bar. And he says, let me play that guitar. <laughs>
Here's the third verse. <laughs> Milio, no computi, e kauka, e Kamuela Kahoano, let's hear it. Oh, look, 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 he's going, okay. <laughs> you gotta catch plane too. Oh my goodness, okay, good luck. Do you say, oh, pre-check. You know, the pre-check line is almost as long as the regular line these days, but no worries, I'm sure you will make it through on time. Next time, go mokulele. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean to say that out loud. All right. We are moving right along. Oh, somebody asked me. I've been asking you folks to do the survey. 
um, but neglected to tell you exactly where to do that. The surveys are being taken right there in front of the gallery, in front of the Schaefer Gallery. And that's also right next to where you can get your festival t-shirt available today only. This is the 31st annual Kiho'alu Maui Festival, but the Kiho'alu Festival has been going on for four decades already. So <laughs> mahalo for being here and being part of it. Please make sure to stay hydrated. Very important, it is a hot, hot day, even with the breeze. So I'm very excited to introduce our next performers, Danny and Nani. Danny, I read, Danny Carvalho, has been a Kiho'alu fanatic since the age of nine years old. He is a very uh, formidable singer and songwriter and instrumentalist. Kuanani Edgar comes from a rich background in hula and mele. They're such a lovely couple. Danny and Nani Carvalho together, they are known as Kailua Moon. Aloha Maui, how are we doing today? Aloha. Ah. I'll take a little I'll take a little less guitar in the wedge. Good, thanks. All right, so I believe last time last year we were here. I saw everybody in pods, and we did, uh, we previewed one song from an album we were recording. This year we finished it, and it's called You Are My Flower. This is the title track. The grass is just as green. The sky is just as blue The day is just as bright The birds are singing too You are my flower It's blooming in the mountains for me You are my flower That's blooming there for me The air is just as pure The sunlight just as free seems to say it's all for you and me. E kuu pua, mohala i ke kua hivi. E kuu pua, i lai la ho i mo. When summertime is past and snow begins to fall, just sing this song and say to one and all, Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you. So, past couple of years, we were, we didn't have a whole lot of stages to play on. A special thank you to the MAC for being, to the Maui Arts and Cultural Center for being proactive about uh, providing opportunities for artists. Um, but since we couldn't really go anywhere, we decided to do some homework, read, read up, and uh, listen to music that we'd been wanting to study and go down rabbit holes. And uh, this one, one of them led us to the song we just did, which was written by A.P. Carter, the uh, American uh, folk singer, yeah, and uh, his son-in-law, right? So we his found a song from Johnny Cash. This is a <laughs> song by his son-in-law, Johnny Cash. <laughs> and I always, I love doing this one here on Maui because it's one of the places in Hawaii where people still, where you still have paniolos that I can sing about. Country church bell ring on a Sunday morn. Malka lady, do you still wear that old apron, ragged and torn? Malka lady, on winter nights before your own fireplace, as you into the flame Do you ever call my name and do you see my face Oh you pony old lady once I was your little baby and you rocked me in your homemade rocking chair Since I heard the nanny calling I had
Thank you, so you Maui, so much for having us. Aloha. See you next time. Aloha. One more? Oh, okay. All right. I guess we get one more. Thank you again for having us, Maui. Thank you to the MAC uh, for hosting this event every year. Rain or shine. Thank you to you guys for showing up and supporting it. Yes, 
Kachikachi music maka wow, ring of fire. Mahalo, Kailua Moon, another big round of applause. Oh, we are so fortunate to have a bunch of um, versatile entertainers for you today, and we've only just begun. We're going to be here until 5 o'clock, nonstop music. Onolicious food, beautiful, beautiful crafts and clothing and art by our vendors. And I see a lot of you were able to find shade. Those of you out there, <laughs> I know, I know you're not clapping for me, I know. This next person really needs no introduction. Everybody knows this guy. I can tell already we got a bunch of lead heads in the audience today and watching us online all over the world. Led has gathered a following, I mean, internationally and well-deserved. My uh, bio information says he's been a legendary performer for over 40 years, but the bug on no age, yeah? He looks exactly the same. Plus, they say black is very slimming, so next year I'll go with all black, too. All right, folks. Like I said, I do not sure. want to cut into any of his musical time because we have such a full lineup. So I'm just going to go ahead. You already know who he is, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Ledward Ka'apana. Aloha. Mahalo, mahalo, everybody. It's nice to be here in Maui. You know, I come to Maui once, once a month to perform out in Napili Kai with George Kahumuku. Like you say, Maui no ka ue, Maui no ka bese.
Mahalo, mahalo. That song was called the Radio Hula and my Yellow Ginger Lady, a song that I learned from my, my uncle, the late Fred Puno. Yes, you know, we're coming from the big island of Hawaii from a place called Kalapana, no electricity. So the music was always there. That's how I learned all this music. Pass on down from my generation. But here's a special song that was composed by my twin brother. He wrote this song for good friends of ours. I know most of you have heard of uh, uh, no, um, Eddie Aikau, Big Wave Surfer, uh, Okulea. Anyway, his, his brother uh, Solomon used to perform with my twin brother. So Nate wrote a song called Kolomona Slacky, which translates as Solomon. Call them on us, like. <laughs> Another song uh, that I recorded this song on one of my CDs, which is over here, but uh, composed by the late Ente Ellis the Makilua. She wrote this beautiful piece of song for all these uh, beautiful girls that dance in the halau. Song called Nani, translated as Duty.
Mahalo, mahalo. Okay, I'll do one more song, folks. Uh, once again, I'd like to say mahalo to Milton and the rest of the guys that made it possible for us to come here in Maui to share all our manao with all of you folks. And thank all of you guys for coming to uh, support the live Hawaiian music. Yeah. My favorite, uh, Saki Entertainer. Not favorite, I got so many favorites, but one of them that uh, I really got inspired by was uh, Lenny Kwan. Did a song called Upihi Moe Moe, which talks about the sleeping shower piece. So, God bless everybody. Mahalo.
Yeah, mahalo, mahalo. Went out, this song went out to Yuki and Suki Oya, all the way from Japan. God bless everybody. Thank you. Ledward Ka'apana. I know, I know, I'm so sorry. I have the, I have the junk job of having to tell you, no can do Hana Holes today. Mahalo Led, so much love for you. We have to keep rolling right along. Mahalo for joining us here at the Maui Arts and Cultural Center for the free Kiho Alu Maui Festival, supported by the Kiho Alu Foundation, Kahoku Productions, Hawaii Tourism Authority, KPOA Radio, Maui Visitors and Convention Bureau, the Maui News, and the County of Maui. And to satisfy the HTA, please, we need you to fill out those short little surveys right in front of the gallery. If you complete a survey, your name goes in for the drawing. You can choose between $100 worth of CDs or a brand new mele ukulele. So make sure you do that, whether you are a visitor or a resident, regardless of where you're coming from. We need your input on these surveys. Mahalo to all of our viewers around the world. We are streaming all of this live on the Mac website, Facebook Live, YouTube channels. Ooh, I hope nobody's nervous. Our next performer is no stranger to Maui or to the Kiho'alu festivals. He has put out 10 albums, worked very closely with the late, great Dennis Kamakahi. And last year, he was honored to receive the Nahoku Hano Hano Kiho Alu Legacy Award, recognizing his many contributions. Yeah, you can go ahead and clap. Oh, I just got chicken skin. And you can see he brought his whole entourage on stage. <laughs> you already saw and met Dwight. And Bombay, this guy over here, who I thought was Jamie Lawrence when I saw him <laughs> in the green room. And Jamie and I are classmates from Baldwin High, and I almost scared the you-know-what out of him because I was going to come up and give him a big hug. Good thing I took a second look. But you'll be seeing him on his solo set a little bit later on. Thank you for being here, Bobby. Oh, look, see, he's just getting prepared. And then we have Chris Lau here. You'll be seeing a lot of him playing bass, backing up our many. He is the son of Milton Lau, who we have to thank for bringing the Kiho'alu musicians here year after year for 31 years. This is the 31st annual Kiho'alu Maui Festival. I give you Le Bambai. Oh, you know what? Since they're doing that, no, no, because he already got his. I will give you yours now. This is the first time I have to do lay presentation and talk. Hey, and it's very difficult for me to do two things at once, you know. Ooh. I don't know if you know, but I caught COVID about a month and a half ago. I wrote about it in my column. And um, while the symptoms lasted for about a week, I think I still got the brain fog, but I don't think I can blame that on the, on the coronavirus because my brain was pretty foggy pre-pandemic too. So I'm just rambling on now until this gentleman is Pao and... I'm going to give you your lay now. Well, how's about a hand for Harrison doing such hard work here, our sound man here at the Maui Arts and Cultural Center? Okay. 
All right, I think we're ready. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Stephen Inglis. Mahalo, thank you. Big mahalo, Kathy. Thank you to the Maui Arts and Cultural Center, the MAC. Big mahalo to Art Bento. Mr. Mayor, who's here today. Congratulations, Milton Lau and the Ohana. This is the 40th year of the Kiho Alu Festival. Oro. That's right. 31st here. 31st on Maui. 40th Ooh. for Hawaii. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Mahalo. Brother Chris Lau here on the bass with me. Hello, everyone. That was called Redwood Slack Key. It's a song I wrote uh, while traveling uh, through Humboldt County in Northern California. Admiring the greenery. There's a kind of greenery you can see. There's also a kind of greenery you can smell everywhere in Humboldt County, too. The combustible kind, yeah? <laughs> That's Redwood Slack Key. All right. Well, there are so many amazing musicians at this festival today. It's have a hard time not jamming. A lot of times we don't see each other for a while. This is kind of like our homecoming every time. So we're going to bring up two of Hawaii's finest right now. We've got Brother Dwight Kanai. Brother Dwight. There he is. One of the absolute best of the best. For years played with the legendary Peter Moon, many of his own recordings. Someone I'm always honored to share the stage with, Dwight. Awesome, brother. And we also have the Mauna Lua Cowboy, Mr. Bobby Modero. There you go. Good guy. Right. So a couple, about two months ago, Chris and I had the, had the privilege of spending four days on um, Kaho Olave. And it was an amazing experience. Check. And uh, Check two, one, two. we're very grateful. In fact, we're, 
We're kind of still there. We never really left the island. Though. She hasn't let us yeah. go yet. We're going to go back soon. Check two, Next time two, we go back, we're bringing two, these two, two with us, though. Please. For yes. sure. Please. So we're going to do this mele. Uh, those of you from here who know the history of... Uh, very tragic what happened to that island, but as you get there and as the anger kind of recedes, you, there's an incredible sense of malie, of calm and, and peace. And... Uh, those who came before us who sacrificed so much, and of course, George Helm and Kimo Mitchell. Uh, and this is a melee written by Kimo. That's right, that's right. Always honor them.
Mr. Stephen English to you. Yeah. So love these guys. Why can't I? Bobby love you Mordero. too, brother. Oh, Can jam one more. Can jam one yes, more absolutely. with you, brother. Yeah, please. That's why we brought you up. Thank you guys so much for being a part of us here. How's about a big hand for this uh, beautiful Maui Slacky Guitar Festival in person, baby? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Live and direct. <laughs> All right, so we are on Maui. So um, as Auntie Kathy mentioned, I had, did have the great, great honor of uh, recording an album with Uncle Dennis Kamakahi, um, one of Hawaii's greatest, the Bob Dylan of Hawaiian music. Uncle wrote about 500 plus songs before he left us. Uh, and this one he wrote honors this island of Maui. And Na Ali'i. Kapuolani.
English, guys. All in the way. Dwight Kanai, Bobby Modero, Chris Lau. Bobby's Hello, coming everyone. back in a little bit. Thank you guys so much. Aloha. They said we can play okay, one more. I guess. Yeah. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby where you at? Come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Usually it's the other way around. We always play too long. But <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, everybody's on time today. Nice. It's a punctual festival today. Wow. Wish it would be like that at the airport. All right, well, we're going to continue we go. with the Uncle D thread then. Here we go. We're going over to Molokai now. All right. Now 
Hoki mai au i ane i ka hulu wehi o ke kola ho Na makani e ha O moloka i nui a hina Mahalo Nui, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Dwight Kanai, Chris Lau, Brother Bobby Modero. Thank you guys. Mahalo, Stephen Inglis. Thank you. Are you guys having fun yet? Oh, it's so hot out there. I see a lot of you people brought papale. That's good. Make sure you stay hydrated. Get your beverages over there. And while you're at it, you might as well pick up... Uh, Sumo dogs or something from um, Taste of Aloha, 808. We got shaka shave ice and cane juice. Ono pono acai bowls, area 51. And while you're getting up there, you might as well stop over there at the merch tables. Get yourself a collector's item, 2022 Kiwa Alu Festival commemorative t-shirt. And be sure to do the survey if you haven't done that yet. Everyone who fills out a survey gets their name put into the prize drawing, and you get to pick either $100 worth of CDs. I don't know if you get to pick the CDs, too. Or a brand new ukulele, your choice. Only takes a minute to do the survey. It's for the HTA, the Hawaii Tourism Authority. They want to see what kind of an audience events like this draw. So let's show them. Regardless of whether you're a resident or a visitor, we need you to complete the survey. Oh, they brought you on chair. Good, because it's hot, yeah? Okay. So Chris is going to hang out probably with most of the upcoming musicians, no? <laughs> Get shave ice over there, you know. All right, our next performer, Kavika Kahiapo, was inspired by his father to begin playing music at a very early age, and he has shared that some of his fondest childhood memories come from those um, garage kanikapila sessions when Pops, Gabi Pahinui, would stop in and jam with the family. Ooh, I just got chicken skin. Kavika does have CDs here available at the merchandise table, so be sure to stop over there and take a little bit of him home with you, because you know, like everybody else, he only got 15 minutes on stage. So I'm going to give you this. I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kavika Kahiapo. So glad to be here at the, the, at the MAC. Big mahalo to uh, Art Vento. Uh, Cliff Naoli, where you at? Aloha to brother Cliff Naoli, brother Roy Cordero, some friends here in Maui. Song I wrote called Eastside Slack Key.
chunk on each side, slack key. Bam. Hope you're all having a beautiful day so far. All right. Do some homegrown music, something I wrote. My hometown, east side of Oahu, place called Waimanalo. That I come from on the east side of paradise, where bloom meets blue and the ocean and sky become one. Where the mountains and the sea they call out to me. Gentle breezes circling as horns swim on by. Visions of ancient days take me back to another time. At Pahonu and Kaupo, ancestors came to know this place so far. Wamanalo. No other place to be. Wamanalo, loved by all who come to see. Kukuba hipona, kukula ivi, kuaina aluha. Place we call God's country, Waimanalo. We were the Wawa. Such a beautiful day in Maui. Mauhana kahiapo ke kahuna kululoya. We come from 
Paguela High School, just up the road over here. Old Hawaiian classic love song. So about a big hand for Chris Lau, Milton Lau, Slack Key Festival's, what, 31 years now? In Maui, yep. 31 years doing the festival here in Maui. Aloha. Aloha everyone, more music coming up. Take care.
Take care of each other. Aloha. Kavika Kahiapo. Oh, I'm just one big lump of chicken skin now. That was so beautiful. Everybody having a good time? Everybody staying hydrated? Everybody did the survey? How are you going to win the ukulele if you don't do the survey? We need you to complete a one-minute survey. It's in front of the gallery. And while you're there in the shade, you might as well take a look around at the merchandise, including the commemorative Kiho'alu Festival t-shirt. On the shirt, it said 40 years of Kiho'alu Festivals. That's how long that Milton Lau has been producing them. Here on Maui, it's 31 years, which is a pretty awesome record already. Oh, Chris left. He'll be back, though. He probably went to get some shave ice. He was saying how hot he was up here. Mahalo for hanging in here with us. Don't forget to check out the many vendors under the eaves, again, in the nice, cool shade, and our food vendors as well. Mahalo to all of our sponsors. We're going to keep the program going. Our next performer, you already caught a glimpse of him earlier as he came up during Stephen's set. Multiple Nahoku Hano Hano Award winner with his group Mauna Lua. Two years ago, he recorded his first solo album and now performs all over the world solo when he's not engaged with Mauna Lua, yeah. making lots of music. I checked with him. I found out that solo CD is available at the merch table. And possibly the, what, signature G-strings. They're sold out already. Sorry, honey. You lost your chance. What about the Speedos? The, the Speedos, a uh, couple left, but only extra, extra large. <laughs> but that's okay. Can oh, good thing, because we on Maui, so. No, but know. those come with uh, suspenders. Okay. So no worry. <laughs> <laughs> no bad guy. His next hoku gonna be for comedy album of oh, the stop year. Stop it! Stop <laughs> it! No, no, no. Okay. No. Oh, you have such a beautiful pua kini kini lay, but I'm gonna oh, clash. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Mahalo. Mahalo, ladies and gentlemen. Give a nice, warm welcome to Bobby Madero. Hello, everybody, and welcome. I gotta do a little song for uh, the island of uh, Maui. Love this island so very much. Song written by Polani Vaughn. Uh, recorded this on my solo record. Goes like this. I'm 
like it I like it once again thank you guys so very much for being a part of us here on this beautiful beautiful day here in Hawaii Ine, celebrating nothing more than this beautiful art of kiho alu slacky guitar an indigenous way of presenting our music to each and every one of you um, I'm gonna do this song the uh, it's, it's a medley of songs uh, the first song was written by Bob Nelson and the second was written by our queen Lily Uokalani so hope you guys enjoy this very, very, very special song to me, to a lot of people. Goes like this. I hear the wall brings back memory. I hear
what I'm talking about right there. Two times I gave myself chicken skin. Hoy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm going to do one more song, okay, for you guys. Thank you guys so very much for being a part of me and my ohana. You know, with all this craziness happening around the world, it's hard to believe any of that happens while we're in this space. But it does. To rectify is to acknowledge so that we leave this place just a little better than when we showed up. Can I get an amen? amen. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah? Guys, two things in the world we need a lot more. We need a lot more aloha and we need a lot more Hawaiian music, baby. And that's why we are here. That's why we're here. I ended this song that was written by my uncle Jerry Santos. I do this for the mayor, Victorino, and his beautiful wife over there. I love you guys. A song that has a beautiful message. With a premise of one thing, and that's hope. Without hope, we ain't got nothing, guys. So let's give hope to others. Let's give hope to ourselves. Let's hug a little harder. Let's kiss a little harder. But I mean, social distancing kind, yeah? But no matter what. Be there for each other. Love hard. I love you all. God bless you all. See you guys again soon. You know what I'm doing, baby. Chris Lowe, my brother. I remember days when we were younger. We used to catch a wolf in the mountain stream. Round the Kolo Hills, we'd ride on horseback. So long ago, it seems it was a dream. Last night, I dreamt I was returning.
like it goes like this. I remember days when we were smiling, when we laughed and sang the whole night long. And I would greet you as I find you with the sharing of a friend. I dreamt I was returning And my heart called out to you To please accept me as you find me Good night, everybody. I love you all a lot. Bobby Modero. Bobby Modero. What was that nickname? The Portuguese Tornado. <laughs> oh, sorry. Portuguese Tornado. His CD, his solo CD, is available at the merch table, along with many of the other artists you're going to be enjoying today. I'm going to remind you again, it is so hot out there. Please stay hydrated. Drink lots of water. Beer no count. If you're going to drink beer, drink twice as much water as well, okay? Mahalo for joining us for the 31st annual Kihoalu Maui Slack Key Festival. Our next people that I'm going to bring on stage are coming without instruments, but they are all stars. Please welcome, first of all, the Honorable Michael Victorino, Mayor of Maui County, and our lovely First Lady of Maui County, Joyce Lynn Victorino. Also, the CEO, the big cheese here at the Maui Arts and Cultural Center. I like to call him Ata, Ata Bento. Hey. Art Vento, ladies and gentlemen, and Mr. Kiho Alu himself. Mahalo for coming all these years to us. Milton Lau. We'll start with some words from our honorable mayor. Aloha, everyone. Oh, come on now. Aloha. Aloha. That's a Maui crowd. God bless you all. It's a pleasure to be here at our 
Kilo Alua, excuse me, Kio Alu Guitar Festival today with some real extra special, uh, what I call feelings, because we're out again, aren't we? We're not confined anymore. And you know, I'm so happy to see all of you out here having a wonderful time. But before we go on, I've got to thank Milton for all the years. Let's give Milton Law a big round of applause for all the years of service he's given. This is the 31st annual, you know, and I know you've done this in other places longer than that, Milton, in Mahalo from the people of Maui County. Before my wife and I present a proclamation to celebrate this festive festival, I would like to thank the sponsors who make this sponsor um, this event possible. First of all, Maui News. Let's give them a big hand. The County of Maui and the Office of Economic Opportunity or Development, I should say. Let's give them a big hand. Also, I want to give HBC and MCVB a real big shout out for their work here. Uh, Kahoku Productions, thank you very much. Cape Boy Island Radio, who also is another big sponsor. This is all possible so that you can come here today and enjoy this at no charge, free. So let's give all of these people, all of the sponsors, a tremendous round of applause for their um, sponsorship. But we are at a beautiful venue called the MAC, Maui Arts and Cultural Center. And let's, tell, let's give Art Vento all these hardworking staff and volunteers at the Cultural Center, a big round of applause. Art, mahalo. And finally, our MC extraordinary, Miss Kathy Collins. Let's hear it for Kathy. You know, for most of us who grew up here, Slack Key was just another soundtrack at home. We used to hear it all the time, and we had the old timers like and, and those who originated the slack key in Hawaii. But the slack key was really part of the Portuguese and Spanish introduction of the guitar to the Hawaiian people. And they took it to another level that we never even imagined. And finally, the native Hawaiians have developed and perfected the uniqueness of the slack key uh, guitar. And so we want to make sure that a lovely Hawaiian and Japanese wife of mine, Joyce Lynn, We'll read the proclamation to you today, if you don't mind. So give my wife a big round of applause, please. I think I can. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you this afternoon. Thank you for being here. County of Maui proclamation reads, whereas the 31st annual Kiho Alu Festival will be held today at the Maui Arts and Cultural Center on June 26, 2022 and features some of the world's greatest slack key guitarists. And whereas the Kiho Alu Festival is a free concert that yearly draws nearly 2,000 to 3,000 fans from the county of Maui to enjoy the slack key music and Hawaiian culture. And whereas Kiho Alu refers to the solo finger picking style of playing guitar unique to the state of Hawaii and whereas, as in acoustic guitar tradition, slack key strings are slapped to produce different tunings, each of which produces a lingering sound behind the melody with a characteristic reson resonance and fingering. And whereas, slack key guitar playing has emerged as a significant artistic force that is part of our cultural heritage. Now, therefore, I, Michael P. Victorino, Mayor of the County of Maui, do here pro hereby proclaim June 25th through July 1st, 2022, as Kiho Alu Slacky Festival Week throughout the County of Maui and in appreciation of the art of slacky guitar playing and recognition of the many talented artists who are continuing our heritage through the perpetuation of Kihu Alu traditions. In witness whereof, I hereto set my hand and cause the seal of the County of Maui 
to be affixed to Mayor Michael Paul Victorino. Thank you for being here, everyone. Thank you, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Joycelyn. Ladies and gentlemen, this award is from all of you, so let's hear it for Art Vento and the, Ma and the Mac. Thank you, and also Steve. Hello, everyone, and enjoy your day. So thank you, Michael. Thank you, Joycelyn. I don't know about you, but the last two years has been the longest decade of my life. I don't, it's pretty, pretty, it's been a challenge. And today is one of those celebratory days where it warms my heart at the MAC to see you all back at the MAC and be able to see you from here down as well. I, I think I've recognized more of you by your uh, color of your eyes and your eyebrows over the last two years, but now it's a wonderful thing to be able to see your entire face. And I like to say on days like today at the MAC, if at the end of the day you can't smile, if your heart isn't full of a wonderful joy, then you really need to check your pulse because we can't do any more than this for you. It's one of those wonderful free days at the MAC. This marks one year to the day where we actually started to do live events again. You know, you do the math and it's like, wait a minute, we just started doing live events not too long ago. Well, last year at this time, I went to the mayor and said, I think we can do a live event safely. And he's, he, we, we got out some paper and I showed him how we, how we might lay out the amphitheater, how we might make six foot squares and pods and six foot, everybody was six feet away from everybody else. And he scratched his head and said, well, I want to say yes, but it's your neck if it doesn't work. So actually he said he's fully supportive of how we do it because he knows the Mac is going to do only things that are completely creative. Look up on the screen. That was you a year ago. That was you in each one of those six foot little pods because the County of Maui and the Maui Arts and Cultural Center throughout the pandemic found a way within the rules and with a way to make it safe to go ahead and move forward to bring joy into your life. And that would be 7.30 on Saturday night. We would live stream uh, into your living room. You'd come here for the Slack Key Guitar Festival. We'd find a way to go ahead and put you six feet apart we transformed the amphitheater into a drive-in movie theater, which then the cars were six feet apart. And then next thing you know, we were doing drive-in concerts with, uh, as well. Finding a way, taxing every bit of creativity so that Mike Victorino and the My Arts and Cultural Center could find a way to say yes, not just no to every possibility. Those possibilities manifest themselves today in something like this, where we're able to live stream to, uh, to the world, have you here in public, have a wonderful hybrid event in which we are celebrating the arts live, live and together again. Thank you for being here. We missed you. Welcome back. Thank you so much for coming. It's been 31 years and uh, this has been a journey, a very sweet journey for me. Uh, it takes an army to do these things, and we need to thank uh, the Honorable Mayor here and Art Vento. Uh, it started actually with my great-grandma and living in Hanamaui, and she was very musical, and it carried on to my generation, uh, two generations later. But um, yeah, uh, I need to thank all of you for making this happen, because our mission is basically promote, preserve, and perpetuate Kio Alo. And we've been able to do that for 40 years, so Thank you for coming from the bottom of my heart. Mahalo. How about another round of applause, Mayor? Thank you. 
and Joycelyn Victorino, Art Vento, and Milton Lau. Well, a little while ago, you heard Bobby Modero talk about how we need to keep having hope. And so we do. We have Kimberly Hope, all the way from the island of Kauai. I'm really excited to hear her. Kimberly is an accomplished um, instrumentalist and instructor as well, and is a double Nahoku nominee this year for her, um, her debut album called Kimberly Hope, so easy to remember that. Um, instrumental album of the year and most promising artist, is that right? Very excited to have her. She hails from the Garden Isle of Kauai, and so she is here accompanying the main man of Kihoalu on Kauai, Paul Togioka, who is also no stranger to Maui and uh, the Kihoalu Festival. So happy to have them both here with us. Chris Lau is back on stage. Did you get hydrated? Okay, good boy. Because I think Chris, is go you're going to be playing with everybody from now through the end, pretty much. No? Okay, well, in between your hydrations. But how about a, la a hand for Chris? Because I know you do a lot more than play bass. You are your dad's right-hand man, probably. And it takes a lot of work to bring the Kihoalu Festival around the island. So we're so happy to have the Laos and um, the whole crew here. I think there still are t-shirts available for purchase. Be sure to check out the merchandise table because most of the artists that are playing here are represented there. You can take home music from all of them. Make sure to fill out the HTA survey and maybe you'll be the winner of a brand new Mele Ukulele or a hundred dollars worth of CDs. I think of your choice. I'm assuming they're the Kihoalu CDs, probably. Is it like 10 of Bobby's CDs? All the same one? All the same. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very excited to have these two here with us from the Garden Island of Kauai. And while we get them, oh, I know you cannot wear a lei while you play violin. I could put him on your, your, okay. There we go. That's for Kimberly. And while Paul is getting all set up, I'm going to toss this around his neck also. All right. And I can take care of a little more housekeeping while Harrison gets Paul all dialed in. Mahalo to the Maui Arts and Cultural Center for, as Art pointed out, presenting once again this year this free community event for all of you and for the world as we are streaming the 31st annual Kihoalu Maui Festival live via Facebook, YouTube, and the Maui Arts and Cultural Center website. Mahalo to the Kihoalu Foundation Kahoku Productions, the Hawaii Tourism Authority, KPOA Radio, Maui Visitors and Convention Bureau, the Maui News, and of course the County of Maui, and mahalo to each and every one of you for coming out and supporting live music here at the MAC once again. Give yourselves a round of applause. And now, please welcome from the island of Kauai, Paul Togioka and Kimberly Hope, accompanied by Chris Lau.
Thank you very much. Uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to start off by thanking uh, Milton and Chris Lau, and also uh, the Max Santa people of Maui and everybody who hosted this event. You know, it's been a good long lockup we all had. <laughs> it's nice to see people again. But thank you, Maui. We're, we're gonna, yeah, we're changing the pace. We're gonna be doing, normally you guys know I do slack key, but we're doing like easy listening Hawaiian music today. It's in a slack key tuning, but yeah.
you can see me do wearing music on the side. Of <laughs> <laughs> Aloha. Oh, wow. This is my very first time ever playing here. And it's just been a joy and an honor. Give it up for Paul Tobioka and Chris Lau. <laughs> what an honor. Thanks for having us and being here today. Um, I just wanted to say um, CD, my CD is available in the back. Well, it will be. We're going to be bringing it back there after this, I guess. Um, and it's called Kimberly Hope. And I'm really uh, happy to finally have an album of all instrumental, original violin music. And thanks for the shout out earlier um, for my uh, Hoku nominations. I'm very, very blessed and honored and kind of shocked still. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Please enjoy the, the next song. Thank you very much, Maui. I mean, there's a lot of great talent coming up. Thank you. How about a hana hole for them? I don't know where our MC is, so I'm taking over. Hana hole for Paul Togioka and Kimberly Hope. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, audience. Because I know this is much different than standard slacky. Well, I normally do. Yeah.
Oh, what a beautiful pairing. Paul Togioka on Kiho Alu, Kimberly Hope on violin, and Chris Lau, of course, on bass. <laughs> Thank you all for being here for the 31st annual Kiho Alu Maui Festival. Be sure to get your t shirts at the merch table there. Kimberly, is your CD there, your instrumental CD? Is your CD Kimberly's debut album, nominated for two Nahokus, is available at the merchandise table. So be sure to check that out. Oh, I'm already getting chicken skin as I think about introducing our next performer. Um, I think this is her debut public performance on Kiho Alu. Namaka Kazma, as you know, hails from Hana Maui. Her late great father, Pekelo Kazma. Um, yes, please. Her dad, Pekelo, um, I understand, was Ikaika Brown's Kiho'alo mentor. It taught Ikaika many years ago. And you all know what happened to Ikaika. Well, Kevin, Ikaika's dad, has been uh, Namaka's mentor in Kumu now. And it's just a beautiful pairing of two amazing uh, musical families here on Maui. So Namaka has not been playing uh, slack key guitar for very long, but already you know it's in her blood. And I understand you write music as well. Yeah. And where did I read that you're hoping to, because um, her dad wrote so many songs, pretty much mostly about Hana, uh, many of which were never recorded, and I understand that Namaka has made it one of her goals to um, put many of those songs into recording so that we can all enjoy them for generations to come. Namaka is joined by her boyfriend, Sean Parks, who hails from, not from the Hana Parks, it's um, Hawaii Island. Oh, and you in hydrate again. No. No. <laughs> It's okay, he gets shade now, yeah? He's nice and breezy. Yeah. Chris Lau is back to accompany our musicians on bass. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with Chris Lau and Sean Parks, the lovely Hana's own Namaka Cosma. song to my Cosmo Ohana living at home. They travel to the eastern side of Maui.
I'd just like to thank Milton Lau, the MAC, and the Slacky Foundation um, for today. I'm so honored uh, to be here. Also honored to be sharing the stage with my equal Sean Parks and Chris Lau on the bass. Thank you, guys. next melody was written by um, Uncle Dennis Kamakahi for his favorite childhood swimming, um, swimming hole, a uh, place called Waipi'i in Aliamani, Waipi'i. This 
next mele uh, was a song that was written by my dad. Um, it takes us to a beautiful place in Hana uh, called Pu'uiki. Hello, everybody. Aloha. Namaka Cosma. Oh, my gosh. I'm just one big lump of chicken skin. Mahalo, Namaka. Oh, and Sean and Chris. Thank you so much. Okay. I have been reminding you all afternoon to go get your T-shirt and visit the merchandise table. Well, right now... This is going to be your last chance because they're going to be closing down the merchandise tables very shortly because they got to pack up and uh, get to the airport in plenty of time to stand in that nice long TSA line. So 
Last call for merchandise. They're going to be closing down very shortly. So I'm going to make this next introduction really fast because I got to get over there before they shut it down. Mahalo to all of you for coming out. Don't forget our food trucks are still open as well as our local vendors along the eaves here. Okay, this place, I just, here's another Maui talent, couple of them in fact. Hale Manu is a Nahoku Hano Hano Award winner. And I know a lot of you here on the island are familiar with his very unique style of music. Hale combines or fuses uh, Hawaiian music, jazz, rock, funk, world music, and of course, kiho alu, uh, to create a beautiful, unique sound. And he's a really nice guy as well. He brought along Nuno Aviles to play bass. Very excited to have both of them here with us. Once again, merchandise table is closing down very shortly. So this is gonna be your last chance. You still can hear all the music from the stage over there at the merch table. And while you're there, if you haven't already done so, please be sure to fill out an HTA survey. Whether you're a resident or a visitor, they want to hear from you. It only takes a minute or less, and that'll get your name into the prize drawing for $100 worth of CDs or a brand new ukulele, and I believe it's a mele ukulele. Mahalo to the Maui Arts and Cultural Center for bringing back the live in-person event, although it is being streamed right now worldwide, and I've just been informed Audio. Audio. today's event in its entirety will be available on demand on the Maui Arts and Cultural Center website, that's mauiarts.org, or on the YouTube channel. So you can enjoy today, you can relive the memories and the music, and watch for yourself, maybe you'll see yourself, and let all of your friends and ohana around the world know. MauiArts.org for the on-demand viewing of the 31st annual Kihoalu Maui Festival. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, accompanied by Nuno Aviles on bass, Maui's own Hale Manu. Aloha, folks. So nice to see all of your smiling faces again. Thank you for coming out. I'd like to say mahalo to all of our sponsors out there, all the performers, everybody that takes to put on an event like this, and of course to you. So we're going to jam a little bit with uh, me and my brother Eddie.
Ja, Willis. messing around over here. All right. So here's a song we're going to do for you folks. So I partially grew up over there in Hanaside. My family is from Hanaside. And when we were kids, we used to go back and forth into Hana. And at that time, from Kahului to Hana, you know, the road, as some of you might remember, that road was all bus up. I mean, bumps everywhere and stuff like that. So I wrote this song, and it's on a, my album, which you can get over here, by the way. And it's, um, I won a Nahoku Hano Hano Award for that album. And um, this is one of the songs on that album, Alakahiko Ohana, which um, is a very fun song because... For the most part, we had fun going back and forth when we were children inside Hana. 
And um, we're going to jam that for you guys right now. So heavenly with a kahakai, it calls to you. The Hana Road of long ago was a fun filled ride, I remember. We used to sing and say, oh, hele kakum. The bumpy road went boom, 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 Valleys and the mountain top that kiss the sky. Oh, so beautiful. Going on our way to Hana. From the bridge, we see the waterfall. The river flows out to the sea. So heavenly. Going on our way to Hana. The bumpy road with bum, 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 Side to side and then we slide From the lush valleys and the mountain tops that kiss the sky, oh, so beautiful, going on our way to Hana. From the bridge we see the waterfall, the river flows down to the sea, so heavenly, going on our way to Hana. The bumpy road went boom, 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 boom. Around the turn we went from side to side and then we slide, side to side and then we slide. with me all right keep it going let's go man yeah get the blood flowing okay stand up let's do calisthenics <laughs> no 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 just keep that going yeah around the turn and through the hills over the mountain this winding road that takes us to our home well we're almost there a few more turns coming through nahiku i can see it now Uapo, this huakaki has been fun the bumpy road went boom 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 bo
turn it with from side to side and then we slide side to side and then we slide boom 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 we're on the turn it went from side to side and then we slide side to side and then we slide Hana song, Alakahiku, Ao Hana. Mahalo, everybody. Aloha. Hale Manu and Nuno. Mahalo Nui. Oh, so, everybody had a chance to do the survey, right? I hope so, because now is the time. We are going to pick a lucky winner. Everyone who filled out the survey, I guess, <laughs> I guess you got, oh, I see, we got numbered tickets. Did you all get your little blue? Oh, I see you do. Okay. So this is for, oh, very nice. A hundred dollars worth of CDs. That's five brand new CDs. Very nice. Oh, and it's the, all the compilations from the Slacky festivals. Awesome. And the t-shirt. This is a package. Oh, we're going to give them one. Oh, we're going to stretch this out. All right. Okay, so the winner of the... What do you want to give away first? Oh, yeah. I mean, we pulled the, the full one, and we can give away. Yeah. This is for... Okay, for the, for the $100 worth of CDs... Number eight, four, nine, five, six, three, one. Got, gotta be present to win, yeah? Otherwise, how do we know where to send it? Don't tell me they went home, you guys. Look, she coming now and then. Ah, uh, uh, tricky, uh, you guys, all right. Atta, you going to do that? Ooh, delivered by Atta Vento. Okay, we're going to give away this commemorative T-shirt, collector's item. You want to pull a number out? Pick a good one. 8495648. Four, Six, four, eight. Oh, how good you picked somebody right up here. Excellent. Oh, I thought it was Meli. It's Kala. Oh, Kala. It is very nice, too. Mahalo to Bounty Music for donating this ukulele. Okay, one more. Are these ohana as well? 
your granddaughters. They're beautiful. Okay. Okay, eight, four, nine, five, 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 nine. Last four, uh, last, yeah, last four digits. Five, 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 nine. Fifty five, fifty nine. Don't tell me they went home. <laughs> And what number should I call instead? No, 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 I'm not listening. Okay, five, 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 nine, going once. Going twice. Pow, okay, we gotta pick another one. Whoo, you guys got one more chance. It's her the one picking the number now. So don't don't yell at me. Eight four nine five five two one. Last three numbers. Five two one. Oh come on. Five two one going once. They they came together and they both left together. Oh, they hooked up over here and they left together, huh? Okay. <laughs> Five, two, one, last chance. Okay. All right. <laughs> Atta says, if it's happening on Maui, it's happening at the Mac. And who knows where it's happening, never mind. Eight, four, nine, five, seven. Six, two, seven, six, two. All right, we got a winner. You know, you really should let that guy strum a little bit because he has been working so hard to get that ukulele. All right, thank you all very much. Um, HTA appreciates it, as does the Kiho Alu Festival. Okay, I know you already. I gave you lay already. Okay, yeah, I tell you. He keep coming up to see me, so I don't know, all day long. <laughs> In between hydrations. All right, this gentleman, I'm so happy to have him back. You've probably been to almost every one of the Maui Kiho Alu festivals. Yeah, I knew Milton way back when he was with the City and County Parks and Recreation. And he was just thinking about starting a Kihu Alu festival back at Mokoi Pavilion at Alamana wow. Park. Wow, just like 40 this, years yeah, ago. This is um, uh, Atta Isaacs, you know, was still around. Gabby had just passed away. Still had Sonny Chillingworth, oh, Raymond Kane, Leonard Kwan, all those guys. So. Well, we are so grateful that you came to join us again this year. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, mahalo, sister. Mahalo. George Kuo. Song for who Hello. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
there brother Chris hallelujah for uh, joining Hello, over here me. last minute you know and uh, and um, that goes out to Byron Singh over there from Haiku close by Huelo as you're going up there to Hana brother Byron good to see you brother all the way from New Valley to Haiku <laughs> amazing and all your cousins over there the Kohola Kula family oh mean mean brother
and all we know to prove at the beauty of Mona Hoppe. Mount Ahulili, that mountain of jealousy. Such a beautiful song lasting all these years. Still beautiful. Well, here's my last number for the day before we give way to uh, Kevin Brown and uh, Maui Ohana over here. Twin waterfalls of Waipio Valley, where this love affair took place. He loved it.
Mahalo. George Cool and Chris Lau. Ooh. You gotta catch a plane too. Cause you know, I saw Milton and all the other guys getting in a van just 10 minutes ago. Uh oh. Guess you just stuck with us here on Maui. It's not Yay. a bad thing. <laughs> I can stay here all week. He, he's gonna okay. be a bachelor for tonight, maybe. Uh oh, 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 hey, you know this is going out online, right? <laughs> and that reminds me, if you want to relive this afternoon, the entire festival will be available on demand on the Maui Arts and Cultural Center website and YouTube channel. Go to mauiarts.org and um, check it out. Okay. As you can see, we've got a bunch of chairs here. We are gonna fill up the stage with Nahoku Hanohano Award recipients and nominees. And I'm pretty sure all of them from the island of Maui. Yeah! The homegrown talent we saved for the end not just because they don't have to catch a flight, that's not why. It's because we like to save the Maui Noka. Oi, here we go. All right. So as they sit down, I'll introduce them to you and try to not get in Harrison's way. But I know you know all these guys. You love this guy, everybody loves this guy. Kaysen, Kaysen Gomes, Kalani Miles, these two together are known as Hoaka. Today they are part of Ola Ho, right? Yeah, because whoever playing with you, the band, that's Ola Ho, yeah? Okay. Oh, look, Sean came back, Sean Parks. You enjoyed his set. You know, I, I was at the merch table and so many people were asking, Where's Namaka Cosma's CD? I said, oh, not yet, but pretty soon, yeah? Okay, you're gonna be on that CD also. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you, I, don't, I know I'm not the only one here today that just got all choked up when Namaka started playing, going to Hana Maui. And um, it's just wonderful that she's carrying on her late father's legacy so beautifully. And what a voice, voice of an angel. And you're not bad too, Sean. <laughs> Over here, we got the world famous Wailao Rider. I heard you had to get on a flight I too. Just you just landed. How was the line? Between 10 and 2 is a busy flight because uh, Inter Island, uh, all the Trans Pacific flights all land. So that's why I think we have that congestion problem down there. But you just got in from where? Oahu, just Oahu. Okay. Overnighter. Overnighter. Oh, glad you made it on time for your set. And this gentleman, of course, needs no introduction. You've probably been at every one of the Maui Kihoalu festivals, yeah? 
Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. This is the 31st annual, so maybe when you were like six, seven years old, you did the first one. You can tell by the color of the hair. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the hair unless you go to the hairdresser I do. Okay. We were talking earlier when we introduced Namaka about how, and I think you told John Woodhouse this. I know I read it somewhere recently, but your son Ikaika learned Slacky from Pekelo, Cosma, and now you teaching Namaka. Hello, daughter. You know, the circle, circle goes around, you know, and um, um, all we need is the time, you know, and she, she said, Uncle, um, can I have lessons? I said, you just come over. You call me whenever you have the time. And uh, she's been coming faithfully. And so, you know, I uh, called up Milton and Milton gave uh, Namaka her own set. And, you know, it uh, starts from there. Just like how Ikaika Peter gave, Pekelo gave Ikaika his start. And, um, you know, now Namaka, she's carrying on the dance legacy. So it's nice. It is nice. It's, it's just beautiful. Okay, I think we are just about ready. Oh, look. I only have one job or two jobs to do. And I keep forgetting this part. Oy. Oh, good thing I already gave you yours, yeah. Okay. So talk about musical legacies and generations of talented musicians. We, as you know, we just talked about the Brown Ohana and the Cosma Ohana, but you were telling me, yeah, your uncle. So Sean's uncle is Led Ka'apana, who was here much earlier. I know some of you were here for the whole thing, so. Yeah, I tell you, runs in the family. Three, one, two, three, two. Yeah, big hand for all of the uh, artists that started uh, earlier today uh, from one o'clock, I understand. And they all had to catch their flight back to Oahu. So big hand for all of the artists that came up earlier. And, um, Brother Milton uh, still carrying on the, you know, it used to be Banco before, and uh, he's just carrying on the um, Slacky legacy and um, bringing the, um, the Slacky festival to all the islands, not just Maui. Yeah, but Maui's one is the best, though, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, here you go. They all like come Maui, you know. <laughs> of course. That's because Maui audiences are the best as well. That's why they keep coming back. All right, I think we're ready. Please welcome Maui's own Kevin Brown and Ola Ho. Song from the Reverend Dennis.
Jason, thanks, buddy. I just like to quickly introduce the band. It's Kaysen Gomes on the ukulele. Aloha. We have Brother Kalani Miles on the tall Aloha. string. And then we have Sean Fox all the way from Hilo. Aloha. And then we have, uh, this is the most busiest guy that I ever know. <laughs> this is White Love Rider on the bass. And also Kevin Brown is a legend <laughs> here on Maui and throughout the state. You know, the good thing about this is we get together once a year just for this event. We'll feature uh, Brother Sean all the way from Hilo. This is a song I learned from my uncle Ledka Apana, a song called Kuipo Onona.
Maar ik kies een gold en ook Sean Parks.
Kalani and Brother Kaysen. Hey, Hello. thank you very much. Hey, thank you all for coming. Kathy Collins, who are sound guys out there. Kathy Collins and all the, for the Art Vento, the Maui Arts and Culture Center. Thank you very much. And we close with this song. Hey, to all the kikis up in LA, or Las Vegas. Until next year, everybody. Aloha. Take care of one another. Aloha. Mahalo. My Lao Rider, Sean Parks, Kisan Gomes of Area, Kalani Miles, and Kevin Brown. Mahalo. You know, after we sing Hawaii Aloha is pow. You know that. But you like Hanaho. The whole festival is online, on demand. You can watch all four hours tonight. Maui Art Arts. <laughs> now, he's talking, now he's speaking with a kind of accent like that. MauiArts.org. You can view it over and over on demand. Mahalo to the Maui Arts and Cultural Center for presenting this beautiful afternoon of music free of charge. Mahalo to the Kihoalu Foundation, Kahoku Productions, Hawaii Tourism Authority, KPOA Radio, Maui Visitors and Convention Bureau, the Maui News, and the County of Maui. Mahalo to our food vendors, our crafts and clothing and artwork vendors, to all of our volunteers and the staff of Maui Arts and Cultural Center, and most of all to you, the Maui audience is the best audience in the world. We'll see you back here next summer for the 32nd annual 
Ki ho alu Maui festival. Mahalo nui loa, aloha.